Yes, you guessed it right. This Pusano converter looks fairly small and we'll go through what's in the box. We'll talk about the specification. We'll test it, how much it can output actually, 2500 watt and more. And then we'll see how good it performs actually. Let's get started with what's in the box. So when it comes to the question what's actually in the box, you can see this inverter is in the box. We do have a little remote control panel here. We do have also the manual. And we do and we do have additional disk pack as well. It's a little <laughs> wrench. So looking at what's here and what you can see, it is fairly simple to set up. I did already connect it to a 48 volt battery. In my case, it's the XRH new energy battery video up there. And you can see it comes with those plastic tabs here, which you can easily just thread on and thread off by hand. And then you do have actually access to the terminal back here. And then just for added security and protection, you just put it back on. And hand threading here with the plastic is enough because you mount it already and threatened on the nut with a wrench probably. So, and then that's all we have here on this side. So we can see there are fans, there's some aluminum, there's some metal around here to protect it. We do see that we have some bolts or screws here on the side. We have on the side as well, those mounting areas. So we can mount it crowned wherever you want to install it. When it comes to the other side, we do have this cable. We do have this remote and did I turn it on already? I think I did turn it on already, but if not, here's a little power button. And that does illuminate not only this one over here, it does also illuminate the display over here. And here, get, let me get in focus. You can see the information on here. It does take a couple seconds, then it's up to 120 volts. It tells us it's at eight watt, uh, sorry, it's, it's, at eight, it's, it's at zero watt. And the battery itself is at 53.5 volts. When I look at the display right now off the battery, it tells me it is at 53.2. Here we see 53.5. I'm also curious what's the idle consumption of this, or the standby consumption of this inverter itself. So, and it does tell me 0 0.35. 0 0.35 amps in a 53.2. That's what it needs. That's what it's running off. And then we have some uh, adjustments over here. So we can actually adjust it to low voltage shutdown. Uh, between 39 and 42 volts, we can set it. And it's per default on the on, on position, position, which is 42 volts. So in case you have a, like a different chemistry, that might be the option. You see, we have a USB-A, 3.1 amp, five volts, and a USB-C up to 30 watts here as well. And then we have a second button, by the way, over here, which is <laughs> light on and off, which is quite funny. And then on and off here as well. So it turns off the entire unit. I like it. I like this one, this display a lot. It's super easy and simple, so nothing crazy about it. And of course we need to test our actual consumption. So we are at 630 watts coming out. Let's see. Right now we have a consumption of 12.8 amps. That's around 680. So here we can see 630. That's what it's consuming right now. And display over here really quick. It tells us it's at 530 watt. So there's kind of a difference in those numbers as always. But you want to know what's coming out of the battery. So there we go. Pretty neat, if you ask me. Works pretty well. All right, so right now we can see that we have the 630. And when we go back here, we can see we do have at a moment. Well, let me get this one in focus here really quick. We have 130 volts at the moment on the AC side. And when we look here, we have telling us as well that it is at 60 hertz and it has 124, 125 volts. We see a little unevenness in the sine wave, but it looks pretty good and it's always due to my charger which I'm using I think is that charger when you use that load not the best idea for testing it but you get an idea that still 130 volt here in the middle is the AC volts 
coming out and 124, 125, that's what it's pushing out with a very constant 630 watts. Let's see if we can push it more to the limits. I can tell you so far I was not disappointed um, with this inverter. I actually did like it, weirdly enough. I know, I know, right? <laughs> but it worked pretty well. So let's see if we can get more load attached and how far we can get with it. Let's see, we are pulling out around 1580 according to the, wow, according to the battery, you can see it here. And here we can see it's actually 1540. Pretty good. We're still having a pretty good pure sine wave here happening at the same time. 117 volts. Nice, that works pretty well. Oh, I like that. Pretty cool to see, huh? Nice. So 1,500, easily possible, super easy possible. Two thousand four hundred. Wow, yeah, it's nice. According to my little friend here, it's two thousand one hundred forty watts. Super easy. No issues at all with that. It's a little shy of two thousand five hundred. You can hear the fans are kicking in pretty quick as well. Then it's pretty good, I like that. Let's a little bit talk about more about this inverter. It's, they call it a new 48 volt, 2500 watt pure inverter. And uh, yes, the, the outlets are pretty nice and solid when you plug it in, I really enjoy that. You can see we have the wires included, the display included, and it tells us it's at 90% conversion power. That's pretty, pretty nice, pretty neat. I do like that we have the second or the display at all. That is pretty cool. And it does apparently work with selectable input voltages. That's why we have these little switches for low voltage disconnect. And it tells us lithium is possible, but also um, flood, gel, HGM, SLA, etc. So that's pretty nice. It's a fairly small housing, so that is pretty nice as well, as you can see here. So it does come with a high high voltage protection. I would call it high voltage protection, pretty funny typo here. Overload protection, high temperature protection, smart EC, low voltage protection and short circuit protection. So it does come with all different sorts of uh, protections here. And of course you can install the display further away, so that's good as well to see. So yeah, it's the constant load of the 700 watts, super easy, no issues here at all. That works super easy. Let me get more uh, load on it, and then we'll see how far we can get with this one, huh? All right, 110, 2400, 170, and we can see according to what's coming out of the battery, it's at 2900 watts. So it's possible, it does work, you can see. The voltage is 126. So turn it on and off, and with one click, just turn off the entire inverter. And we can turn it back on, I would say, because it does work pretty well and quick. Let me show you here. Then we are back up. Tells us the fan is on, that's correct. And there we are back up, 2400, nice. Let's see if I can get a higher load really quick connected and then we'll double check that output. All right, let's get it started with a new load. This will be interesting. Goes 800. Let's see how far we can get. Thousand nine hundred. Two thousand. Whoa. That was already pretty high. Let's see. A little higher. 
2,800. Let's see what's happening. Right now it's beeping. And looks like back up. Nice, yeah, there it is, good. All right, pretty nice. I'll stop my recording here. All right, so now you, you have seen the inverter. You have seen how it does work, the Altianp, 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 2500 watt. It does have probably up to 2800 and that's it maximum as output and that stops. But it's an aluminum housing, so I would hope that the cooling is pretty good and neat. And if you have any further questions, just leave them in the comment section below. If you need to, uh, anything else to be tested, let me know as well. I hope you liked that video, enjoyed it, and makes it easier for you to understand if you need such an inverter or want such an inverter, as well as the standby wattage, if that's kind of good for you to have in your RV, camper, or whatever you want to, you know, install this one on, or just as your backup. Thanks for watching. Cheers!